Right. Coaches, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Eric Anderson. I am the league administrator and your host for today's coaches meeting. And you are attending the 2022 uh, coaches meeting for the uh, National Aerofo League. Welcome. Uh, today's logistics, uh, I am going to try to keep the meeting to about uh, 30 minutes. Uh, the topics that we will discuss will be specific to the Air Rifle League. If you have questions about how to use Orion or how to use Athena, unfortunately, we will not be able to cover those here. Um, and, however, if you do need help with that, please contact our support team and they would be more than happy to assist. Uh, the information that we will be presenting today um, uh, is for you. It is to help make sure that you and your team have a successful season. Uh, so I encourage you to ask questions and to make comments. Uh, please use the YouTube chat box uh, to submit your questions or comments, and either I will answer those questions myself as we go through, or one of our moderators will answer your question uh, directly. Uh, please note that today's webinar will be recorded and available for download. Uh, for those of you who did join early, you saw a slide asking you to check your uh, team's registration. And we did have a question here about what determines the division placement. Uh, we will cover that in a, a few slides. All right, uh, some, some statistics for this year's league. Uh, this is the uh, seventh year. It remains one of the uh, uh, largest uh, rifle pistol competitions in the United States. Uh, we have 133 registered teams this year. Thank you very much. Uh, just over 1,200 athletes will be participating. And we have teams from 34 different states, and including two, excuse me, including two teams from Deutschland, from Germany. So again, welcome. Thank you very much for participating. For, the, for those of you who are returning coaches, returning teams from previous seasons, uh, I do want to point out a few important changes this year. <clears throat> uh, first, if you are a sporter team participant, we did add a third elite division. Uh, elite is the name of the division to the uh, sporter league. Um, <clears throat> we surveyed uh, the coaches at, at the end of last season. You said uh, you did want to add a, a third division, and we were happy to do so. Uh, if you are on, if you are in the Precision League, uh, we did change the course of fire to 60 shots standing, and we did this for actually pretty obvious reason. Um, with the league, we do have a mandate to stay modern, and the sport has progressed. Um, and the sport, everything from the Olympic to NCAA down to the local matches hosted by USA Shooting and CMP, everything now is 60 shots. So to stay modern, we followed suit. And the third thing is we do have a new new tool available up on our website, and I'll cover it more a little bit later on, that will help us manage the change requests uh, throughout the season. Um, I'll be honest, one of the most difficult things uh, administering the league is uh, handling all the different uh, requests for changes of schedule. Uh, I, when those do come up, uh, I encourage you to use the, this new tool, which will help us help you uh, participate in the league. All right, uh, the season is going to be divided into three parts. The first part is going on now. That is the preseason, and it ends on Sunday. Um, every team has been invited to participate in the preseason. Strongly encourage you to do so. The preseason allows you to participate in a league-type game without actually having a scores count in the league itself. Again, it's not mandatory, but strongly encouraged. And if you have participated in the preseason and want to do it a second time or a third time, absolutely, we can do that. Uh, just contact us and we can make the arrangements. Uh, the regular season will start on Monday, basically in a week, and it runs for eight weeks, ending right before Thanksgiving. During those eight weeks, each team, excuse me, during those eight weeks, um, most of those weeks, you'll have exactly one game to participate in. Um, and one of those weeks, uh, during those eight week season, you'll have a bye week. That means you, you won't be competing. Many of you have submitted requests for bye weeks when you registered. Thank you very much. That helps us tremendously. Uh, if you didn't sometime during, uh, if you didn't request one sometime during the season, one will automatically be assigned to you. 
Uh, the schedule uh, for the regular season will be created dynamically by Orion. We will cover how the schedule is created in a few slides. And during the regular season, all of your athletes are allowed and encouraged to participate. Um, your team score will comprise, excuse me, your team score will be comprised of the top four athletes from your team each week, regardless if you have four athletes or 40 athletes. It's the top four scores uh, from your team. The third part of the, the season is the postseason, and things kind of change uh, during the postseason. First, you have to qualify. Um, the postseason will happen after Thanksgiving. If you're in the Champions Division, you might, uh, if you formed well enough during the regular season, you might advance to the uh, single elimination tournament for the championship. Uh, if you're in the Distinguished Division, we have a added uh, a conference title match uh, for each of you. And the one, one of the changes that occurs in the postseason is only five of your athletes may participate with, again, the top four athlete scores counting towards the team total. The organization of the league is, as you see, see here, we have on the left-hand side the uh, Sporter League, uh, which we have three divisions, Champions, Distinguished, and Elite. Uh, the Champions division is always reserved for the top teams in the country. The next slide will tell you how we are squatting those teams. And then over on the Precision side, we have two divisions, uh, Champions and Distinguished, which with, again, the top teams uh, uh, being squatted into the Champions division. For those of you who are squatted in the Champions Division, congratulations. Uh, you do have to qualify to get there. So once again, congratulations. You are doing something very well. All right. Uh, so here's how we determined quantitatively how which division your team got squatted in. Um, and again, I said it already. The Champions Division is, rever is reserved for the uh, top teams in the country to be squatted into the Champions Division. Uh, two things have to happen. One is your performance from last year. Second is your performance on at least one outside sanctioned competition. And we have minim minimum qualifying scores in order to get into that champions division. On the sporter side, uh, the distinguished division is reserved for new teams and teams who uh, performed with a score of 900 or above last season. All other teams in the Sporter Division are, excuse me, all other teams in the Sporter League are uh, squatted into the Elite Division. And similar, similarly, on the uh, Precision side, if you don't qualify for the Champions Division, you are squatted into the Distinguished Division. Now, with that said, I do want to take a moment and to pause and to give each of you a opportunity to check your team's um, uh, conference and division to make sure it does actually make sense for, uh, for what you know about your team. Uh, so using the URLs that we have available up on the uh, live stream right now, please take a moment, check your team's registration. With it, make sure that we have spelled your team name correctly. Make sure we have the right location, city, and state uh, for your team, uh, your division, and of course, check that we have your correct bi-week requests. If there's anything that needs to be changed, please send an email to league at shooterstech.net. That's basically your one-stop shop for everything uh, so we can make sure that information does get corrected. And again, I'll just pause for just a moment to give you an opportunity to check. All right, let us continue. So going back to the league, um, a game. Uh, as I mentioned, there is basically one game each week. For the purposes of the league, a game is defined as Monday through Sunday. We release the game on Monday at noon, and you have until Sunday to shoot and submit your scores. On the sporter side, uh, the course of fire is a 3x10. However, if you do qualify for the postseason, um, if you do qualify for the postseason, the course of fire changes to a 3x20. On the precision side, everything is 60 shots. Again, that's to you know keep the league modern. Uh, all games will be virtual. Uh, that means your team will be participating from your home range, and the team that you're going to be competing against that week 
will also be competing from their home range. And through the miracle of the uh, internet cloud, uh, the scores will be combined uh, on our website uh, virtually, uh, giving the appearance that it's a shoulder to shoulder match. All games will be governed by the National Standard 3 Position and Rifle Rules. That's the blue book that comes from the uh, CMP that we should all be familiar with. Um, all scoring will be done electronically. Uh, that means uh, Orion with paper targets, or if you have an EST system, you may use uh, Athena, Meglink, or Seuss. As a coach, one of your responsibilities is to schedule a time for your team to shoot each week. A um, couple important things to, to, to mention here. Uh, many of you have large teams, great, good for you, and you might have not as many, not as large of a range. Perfectly understandable. And what that means is it is absolutely acceptable for some of your team members to shoot on, say, Tuesday, and some of your team members to shoot on Thursday. And of course, it's completely acceptable for your team to practice as much as you want. Now, what is not allowed is if you try to have the same team members shoot for the league multiple times during the week. If we catch you doing that, bad things will happen. Please don't do that. All right, so let's talk about the scheduling of the games. Now, the scheduling of the games, uh, we have two kind of competing goals. Uh, one goal is to provide a diversity of competition, meaning you're competing against different teams every week. The second goal is to compete, have you compete against teams of a near equal skill level. And like I said, they're kind of butting heads against each other. So how do we do this? Well, the first two weeks of the season is completely random. Uh, you might be squatted against the best team in the division. You might be squatted against the team that's up and coming. It's completely random. Starting with the third week, the scheduling is based on results from the first week. The schedule for the fourth week is based on results from the first and second week. And it goes on from there. And the way that we determine the, that scheduling is uh, we use what we call league points. And I'll explain to you what, what that means in just a moment. But uh, uh, league points can rank the teams and will uh, schedule your team against another team with similar league points. One thing to note, if a team has two or more DNSs, that means did not start, we will stop scheduling you uh, uh, moving forward. It's not fair to the teams that are participating participating to compete against a team that's not. All right, during the regular season, uh, we, we will be keeping track of conference and divisional rankings. Uh, and those will be up on the website. And again, the way that we are doing this is by what we call league points. And what that is, is your seasonal average plus basically bonus points for each win that your team earns. If your team has a loss or what we call a late, meaning you turn the scores in late, zero points for that. Um, and then uh, if we have to cancel a game or give you a forced bye week, uh, we kind of split the difference and automatically give you five points. And then there are um, negative points if you have a DNS or a disqualification. All right, uh, so that's the regular season. Uh, for the teams who perform well during the regular season, you might have an opportunity to advance to the postseason. And de depending on which um, uh, division you're in, uh, will determine, determine what postseason competitions you, you might uh, be able to play. Uh, on both the sporter and precision side, we have a eight team single elimination uh, tournament to determine the league champion. Uh, on the sporter side only, uh, because there are so many well-deserving teams, we added a second tournament, uh, again, a team tournament that we call the Invitational Tournament. In the uh, Distinguished Division, uh, we have a single game conference title game that determines the division winner. Again, all of this is uh, the seeding for all of these postseason uh, tournaments and matches is determined by the league points from the regular season. Once again, one difference in the postseason is you may only have five athletes uh, compete instead of your entire team that you can in the regular season. And if you're on the sport side, the course of fire again changes from a 3x10 to a 3x20. All right, how to participate. Uh, the first way to learn how to participate is to participate in the preseason. Once again, 
The preseason is going on now. All teams are strongly encouraged to participate. This gives you an opportunity to use Orion to get your team out on, on the range to learn the range commands. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so again, if you haven't proceeded with the preseason, you still have a few, few days to do so. Next thing to note is we sent out uh, yesterday uh, the uh, instructions and range command booklet. Um, we also have this available on PDS. It got sent out by USPS. Please look for it in your mail. Uh, each and the booklet will tell you how to use Orion, how to download the games each week. Uh, it will list um, how to add the athletes to your teams. It will even give the range commands to provide um, during the um, <clears throat> excuse me range com range commands to provide during the actual competition itself. Uh, please note that the games will be released each week uh, Monday at, by noon. And again, the range command scripts, the use of them are mandatory. This helps make sure that all teams are competing under the same conditions. Uh, there's three different places that you could possibly get the range commands. Uh, as I said, we printed the booklet that's being sent to each of you. If you are using Athena, the range commands are in the range control tab of Orion. And of course, if you want to go old school, the uh, range commands are also printed in the back of the rulebook. All right, very, very, very important. Um, if you don't pay attention to any other slides, please pay attention to uh, this slide. Um, your scores are due uh, Mon. Excuse me. Your scores are due Monday at noon. After you have, after your team has competed and. Uh, you used Orion to upload the scores, please check that the scores got uploaded correctly. Um, the way that you do this inside of Orion, uh, with the match open, with the game open, there is a globe icon. Click on it, and that's going to open your web browser. And the web browser will list your team scores. It will list, hopefully if it's done correctly, it will list all of your uh, athlete scores as well. If you open up that website and your team scores are not listed or you have athletes that are not listed, something is wrong. Get a hold of us, uh, get a hold of our support team so we can assist you to make sure that your scores do get uploaded correctly. Again, critically important that you check that your scores got uploaded correctly. Uh, to this endeavor, Fridays at 11 o'clock, we will be sending out emails to each of you, the coaches, with whatever scores we have in the system at that time. Now again, scores are not due until uh, Monday at noon, so we still have another two and a half days to submit, but that email on Friday will let you know what we have in the system at that time. And you get that email and your scores don't look correct. Uh, again, let's figure out what's going on. Let's get it corrected. We wanna make sure that your scores get submitted so your team gets credit for your participation. All right, one change that we did for this year is that scores are due Monday at noon instead of Sunday at midnight previously. And the reason that we're doing this Monday at noon that is, excuse me, if you do have some technical problems using Orion, you have that Monday from the time we open to noon to call up our support and get assistance to make sure that your team scores do get submitted correctly. Again, you have to fire your targets before Sunday at midnight, but the scores are due Monday at noon. All right, uh, some special circumstances. Um, every year these things come up. Um, I get it. Um, uh, biggest, the biggest thing that usually comes up uh, dur during the season is inclement weather. Your school might have to close uh, unexpectedly. We get it. We want your team to participate. The big thing is to let us know so we can work with you to, to reschedule your game. Um, and I'll, on the next slide, we'll talk about how to uh, let us know about the uh, res res rescheduling request. That's very difficult to say. Uh, a couple things that uh, she may be made a note of. Uh, if, you, if you do have an athlete that is sick, that's going to happen. It happens to all of us. Um, the game goes on. Um, it's just like any basketball or football game. You might have a, a starter that's out due, due, to the, due, due to a cold. Well, you have to have a backup player. So um, uh, <laughs> it's just like any other sport. All right. Um, if you do have two games in a week, that might be caused by a scheduling change. You must shoot 
those two games separately. You cannot shoot one, one set and have them count twice. Um, and please note that in a uh, extreme condition, uh, we do have the authority to cancel a game. That's kind of a last option, uh, but we do have the authority. We wouldn't do that except for um, uh, in, in seasons past when, we, when we've had to do it. It's been a school got hit by a hurricane, really re re regret regretfully um and we, we go ahead and cancel those games but again we don't do that unless we it's a last choice all right um so as i mentioned um a couple slides ago uh, we do have a new tool that is available to submit a request to have a change in your schedule um, and now this tool isn't live yet, so please don't go, go to the website. Um, have, literally, we're working on it prior to uh, today's meeting. Uh, but uh, you can either use the URL that we have posted, or you can log on to our website. And over on the right, right hand side, there will be a link that says your team's schedule. Go ahead and click on that, open it up, and you'll see the ability to submit a request to have your uh, to have a schedule change. Um, it does have to be accompanied by a reasonable reason as to the schedule change. Again, if school system closes down due to inclement weather, that is a reasonable request. If you just completely forgot to schedule a game, sorry, that's not a reasonable request. All right, so let's talk about something a bit more fun now, uh, awards. Uh, one of the nice things, um, we do try to provide as many awards as reasonably possible. So let's go over it. We have a lot of awards that we give, we give out every year. This is, this is no uh, exception. Uh, so every team will receive a league poster and every athlete will receive a participation pin and every athlete will receive a, a sticker for their uh, rifle or case. And we will send that out uh, mid-October and again will be sent out to the address that you provided when you registered. If you're in the uh, Champions Division, uh, the top three teams uh, will receive uh, addition, uh, additional banner and uh, medals for each athlete. If you're in the uh, Distinguished, uh, I should say Distinguished or Elite Division, uh, the top third of teams, uh, to include the conference title game, will also be awarded a banner and medals for your athletes. That's all from the regular season. For the postseason, uh, for the teams that uh, qualify and advance to the uh, postseason tournaments, uh, there will be additional banners for your uh, team to hang on, hang on your range, and of course, additional medals for the participating athletes. Uh, during this uh, league, it, it, it is a team league, but we do recognize two individual athletes for outstanding performances that we call the MVP award. The MVP is the athlete from the uh, winning championship team that had the highest average throughout the tournament. All right, press releases. Uh, every week, uh, we will be generating uh, autom automated press releases and sending them out. We'll send it out to you, the coaches, and if you designated any media outlets when you registered, we will also send the press release to those media outlets. This is a great way to promote your team, promote the sport. We highly encourage you to um, share them uh, with your team, with your team's parents, with administrators, to, to, to other uh, teachers. Again, great way to uh, promote your team and the sport. Uh, team photos. We do re request uh, team photos from each of you. Some of you have already submitted it. Thank you very much. Uh, we use these photos for multiple purposes. Um, going back to the media, if a newspaper requested a photo of your team, we will go ahead and uh, submit the uh, photo that you provided us to the media. We also put, post it up on our Facebook, uh, Facebook page. We also have used these photos in uh, posters uh, in the past. Um, and of course, we'll be putting it up on the website. Uh, when you go to take your team's photo, um, all of your team members are encouraged to be part of that photo, including the coaches. And if you have them, please wear your team or school uh, clothing uh, to make it a bit more interesting for the photo. All right, uh, coaches, let's talk about some of the responsibilities that you have during the league. Uh, first and foremost, be familiar with the league program and the rules. The fact that you're listening to this presentation right now, it's going to go a long way towards that. Of course, you are responsible for conducting your game each week according to the National Standard 3-Position RFO rules. 
and with that, make sure that you do uh, to make sure all the teams are, are competing under uh, you know the same uh, circumstances. Make sure that you are using the uh, time limits and range scripts mandated by the rules themselves. Uh, you are responsible for scheduling each game within the time frame of the week. Again, that's Monday through Sunday. You're responsible for the correct use of Orion, and if you're using an ESD system, make sure you know how to use that ESD system. Uh, and if you have any outstanding circumstances, uh, contact the League Administrator. As a, again, as a default, we want to work with you. We want to make sure that your team participates, but if something happens outside of the regular, ordinary League, we don't know about it unless you contact us. So please contact us so we can work with you. And of course, the honesty and integrity of your team. Uh, this is uh, this league is based on everybody's uh, honesty, and we depend on that greatly. Uh, please note uh, that we do uh, randomly check uh, targets each week. Mostly, what we're looking for is, is uh, correct scoring, and if uh, if there were a penalty, the biggest ones are extra shot fired. The penalties get did get assessed correctly. And our normal procedure is we see something like that, we'll get it corrected, and we'll let the coach know about the correction. If you have questions about the correct use of Orion, please contact our support team. All right, uh, coach contact information. Uh, every year, um, coaches, a number of you, want to reach out to the opposing coaches that you're competing against each week. That's great. I strongly encourage you to do so. And the way that we distribute that contact information is through a, a shared spreadsheet uh, that will provide uh, early next week once the regular season uh, uh, kicks off. It will contain your email address and phone number. Uh, so, of course, coaches, if you don't want this information distributed, that's absolutely your, your right. We, we will respect that. Let us know so we can remove your name from that list. For the rest of you, Please be respectful of your fellow coaches' privacy. Use this information for the sole purpose that we are providing it. And again, that's just to, um, uh, again, that is just to uh, welcome each other, wish, wish each other well during the regular season. A couple hints to success um, for the league itself. We, we are kind of closing down here on the end in, in the presentation, uh, so bear with me. A couple hints to success. Um, keep in mind that teams are ranked by their seasonal average. That means a seasonal average plus points for wins um, during the season. Uh, what that means is compete every week. Uh, it's more important to compete every week, even, even if you might get a loss, than it is to take a DNS. DNS is negative points. You don't want that. Uh, and of course, part of that means you want to make sure that your scores did get submitted correctly. Make sure you look on the website to make sure the scores are uh, available. And don't get discouraged if your team drops a game or two uh, during the uh, regular season. It happens to everybody. Um, remember that a win counts just as much at the end of the season as it does at the beginning of the season. And then the other thing that is constantly true about league play is that league play favors teams that improve. So even if you're not uh, each day participating in the league, practice, 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 and use the league as a, uh, a tool to encourage your team to get on the range and practice. Uh, the teams that improve are almost always the teams that do well in the league. All right, uh, closing down here. So just a couple extra slides. Um, I do want to thank uh, uh, John Becker, who has been working with us here at Huge Technology for a little bit over a year. He is actually uh, doing most of the day-to-day uh, uh, -day work with the league itself. John's an excellent excellent guy he's doing a great job with the, with the league most of the time that you'll be communicating with us you'll actually be communicating with john um and he's also what we call our, our customer outreach specialist so outside of the league if you have questions about running your own league perhaps or running a virtual match or you just want like tips on how to run a better competition please reach out to john that's what he's here for to help help you uh, grow your own program and of course, um, for full disclo disclosure, John does have a, a, a very extensive background in the uh, shooting sports, and he is a volunteer rifle coach at uh, Granbury High School. 
And second to last slide here, a couple just news and bits since I have everybody's attention uh, from our company, Shooters Technology. Some exciting things going on. Uh, we have a new web store that's going to be launching probably in a couple of weeks. Uh, I know our current web store is, um, uh, how should I say this, uh, outdated. Um, we've got a great new store being great new store launching soon. Look out for it. Uh, we are also actively rewriting both the Result Center and a mobile app. It's a giant effort. Uh, so again, look out for that. And uh, long delayed, but it is finally available. Athena at Home is now available and up on our website for sale. All right, that's it. Uh, that's all the information that I wanted to cover. Coaches, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, wish each of you uh, the best of luck during the regular season. Um, again, if you have any questions uh, for the league itself, send an email out to league at shooterstech.net. If you have questions about using Orion, contact our support team. Uh, that's the email address that's up on there, support at shooterstech.net. And uh, yeah, good luck. All right, with that, um, I'm going to kind of go through some of the questions that were asked during the uh, presentation. Uh, one of the questions what it, one of the questions I see here, if you need to um, uh, save the shot targets, uh, the short answer is actually no, you don't have to. Uh, so when you submit your targets in a game, uh, those target images are actually uploaded to our cloud server. Uh, so we have uh, copies of your targets automatically. Uh, there was another question about during the postseason and postseason tournament, if you have to use if you have to use the same five athletes for each game in the postseason. No, you do not. You may change each week if you wanted to. You can have a fresh five athletes each week. Not sure why you would do that, but uh, uh, yes, you may uh, swap out athletes during the postseason. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, another question about if you can shoot three times, uh, uh, you have a very large team and you might need to have three different relays. Perhaps you should shoot the three different relays on three different days because you have such a lar large team. Absolutely. You can absolutely. You can do that. Uh, we want to all of your athletes, a opportunity to, uh, uh, compete. And that means you might have to have multiple relays. You might have two, you might have three super large teams might even have to have four relays. All of that is fine. Um, all right, I think that covers all the questions that I see. Uh, certainly, coaches, if you are still with us, if you have additional questions, please submit them in the uh, YouTube chat box. I will stay online if there are any additional questions that come up. But again, um, if you uh, if you got all the questions answered, feel free to drop off. And again, um, let's see, a couple important things. We'll be announcing the f schedule for the first two weeks on Thursday, uh, close of business Thursday, I should say. And if you have any questions about your team's squatting into division, you may uh, contact us. Uh, and of course, I've said it, I think, 40 times already. Uh, please check the spelling of your team name. Um, and other than that, uh, I think that's everything. All right, as again, coaches, I will stay on the line here for a few additional minutes to see if any uh, added questions come up. Um, but if if you are got all the information, feel free to uh, drop off. Uh, let's see, there's one additional uh, question about w will this presentation be posted? Yes, uh, you should receive an email maybe today, maybe tomorrow with the links to the recorded presentation on our YouTube channel. And we will also have the slide deck available uh, for download if, uh, if you so choose. Got a, got a nice note. Um, um, 
looks like from first year coach, welcome on board. Uh, we are looking forward to your team's participation. Um, and just a reminder, especially for the first year coaches, if you haven't done so, please participate in the uh, preseason competition. Uh, again, uh, great way for you to learn how to use Orion if you may not be familiar with it and uh, uh, compete in a league type game without actually your scores counting. Uh, so again, preseason runs through Sunday. All right, coaches, doesn't look like there are any additional questions coming through. Thank you again for um, uh, stopping in with us today, and good luck to you and your teams during the regular season. Um, and once again, reminder, if you have any questions, any comments, reach out to us. We are here to help. Um, and with that, I wish each of you the best of luck and good afternoon.